so hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by once again as i promised in my last video today we're going to be doing a continuation of my video with my mother today's episode is very very insightful my mother and i will be addressing gender equality and so many other crucial things in marriage and relationships so sit back and enjoy the video thanks once again and drop those beautiful comments keep them coming <laughs> Okay, mom, one very important question because on YouTube a lot of stories have been coming out. I don't know whether you guys have um, have followed Somaku's story, Padita Agu's story. There's so many stories of marriages that the parents refused consent and the intending couples went ahead and dealt the consequences and got married without their parents' consent. So I'm going to be asking mom say, what do you think of a situation where two intending couples are madly crazily stupidly in love with one another what advice do you have for these couples do you think they should go ahead afterwards their lives their lives as we as we always say it. Uh, what uh, 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 is it not my life it's not my life am i going to live with her forever <laughs> my so what, what advice do you have you know when when i when you were asking me about or uh, the parents of today and the parents of yesterday i told you that one major issue is culture tradition the tradition, culture, permits the parents to approve the marriage of their children. A situation whereby you bring a husband or a wife and your parents don't approve the marriage, you go ahead because you know there is a registry. When you get to the registry, you, don't, you can hire parents, post there, and rent a brother. <laughs> Rent a mother for the man. Rent, rent, <laughs> rent, rent mother, rent father, rent everything, package yourself and get married. It doesn't end there. There is more to that. It is very, very important, as important as life, that you must be patient with your parents. As long as you bring God, you bring you uh, you brought a husband or a, an intended husband or a fiance. A baby, the way you people a call baby, it. A baby, boo. <laughs> no, <call> a boo. <laughs> you brought a boo. You brought babe. <laughs> and um, your parents are not in support of them. Don't be angry. Don't flare up. Don't take instant decisions. Come and try to find out why your mother or your father is against you that uh, person you brought because one thing about marriage is that uh, nobody you 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 have a a wedding certificate when you get married you, you nobody will be happy to give you a, a divorce certificate are you with me so you should be patient try to be patient be patient with your parents they want the best for you be patient with them find out reasons why they don't accept either the boy or the girl you brought. Don't be in a hurry. Marriage is not a form. There are so many things you don't know about it until you are in it. And when you are in it, it is not a thing of joy to pack it up. By the time you pack up the first one, pack up the second one, you have become a notorious person that cannot that cannot stay in the home. So find out whether it is because of the family background of the person you brought or whether it is because of the character of the person you brought. Try to find out why your parents are against that marriage. If it is just for emotional reason, when she came here she did not greet me well or because of the dress she wore, you now try to convince them and you now try to improve your girl so that she can be accepted. A woman needs to be accepted in the husband's family. A man needs to be accepted in the family of his in-law. But whereby, if their reason is very, very meaningful, you, think you give it a thought. Beautiful things does not finish. The beautiful ones are yet to be born. Do you remember the 
the, the novel. novel, the novel, the literature book. Yes, the beautiful ones are yet to be born. So, but if it is a minor emotional issue, you know, the girl should improve her behavior before them. Gradually, they will accept her. Don't nag. Nagging is not the solution. But if it is a very principal issue, my dear, it's better, it's better to be late than never. <laughs> because when you marry and you have problem, this marriage that some people would want to rush into, when you enter inside and you have problem, you will know that marriage not be joke. That's true. Thank That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and last but not the least, I think this vlog, this vlog has got it very long, so let's just wrap it up. And this, the last question is going to be one very powerful question. <laughs> are you ready? I'm here. For you. <laughs> okay, mom. You are. A very career-driven woman okay as I said earlier you had worked for 35 years you had your business running you had your yes, thing going I got to the peak of my she got career. to the peak of her career she got to the level of director yes. in the civil service like she is genge mm -hmm. so mommy as a strong woman yeah. do you believe in gender equality in marriage well uh, if we can bring in biblical quotation, the Bible made us to know that a woman should be under the husband. But a lot of people are misquoting that quotation. You know, when human beings want to quote, they quote what we favor them. Some men will always seize that as an opportunity to abuse. tell you to abuse. The, to, I mean, the relationship. If you really want to have a very successful home, you must see yourself as brothers, see yourself as sisters, see yourself as close friends, and see yourself as husband and wife. You must cooperate with yourself. You must understand with yourself. Because in marriage, there are so many developments. So if you restrict yourself to gender equality, and maybe you see yourself as the superior one because you are a husband, a woman should respect the husband so that the husband will love her. But when you find a situation or a circumstance where the woman needs to discharge more responsibility than the husband, the husband should show understanding. Don't pose and say, I am a man. I am a man of the house. You know the circumstances that is surrounding your marriage, that your wife is playing greater role because of the circumstance you found yourself. You give her cooperation. In fact, marriage is all about understanding. You must understand and accept yourself. There is no marriage that is the same. I will always quote for my women, the character of your husband is not the same with my own. So there is no marriage that is the same. Don't say it is happening like this in Peter's house. Why can't it happen like that in Adesi's house? They have, we have individual differences. We have circumstances. In some homes today, men are less privileged with providing a means of livelihood. Their wives may have a better opportunity. If you want to have a successful home, you must cooperate with yourself. You must understand yourself. You must see the situation as it is. Don't copycat. Don't say, I am a man, I am the boss. And you know that your wife is not sleeping. She leaves in the morning and comes back around night for the interest of the family. Maybe you lost your job, you want the same woman who left before six o'clock in the morning to go to work, see some terrible things that people see in the office, which some of you know. She will come back, she will be the one to cook, she will be the one to serve, 
She will be the one to do the homework. She will be the one to pay the children. She will be the one to pay the bills. To, 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 to pay the bills. She, you down she, and you sit down. You sit down without conscience. They give you food. You shout that she did not bring water. Gender in quotes. Please. If you, the, the same person that is stressed up, she gets to bed, you want her to open her legs. When she's already found out, my brothers and my sisters, if you really want to enjoy your marriage, respect each other, understand each other, show each other love. And, and, and reduce the emphasis on gender. Yes. Because that gender will not help you. Things are changing. In those days, during the uh, 1500 years ago, women will stay at home. Their job is only cooking and taking care of the babies. It is no longer like that, my brothers and sisters. Let us move with changes. Let us be proactive. Let us show understanding to each other. But today, men alone can no longer foot the bills in the house. You want the best school for your children. We are some schools, you have two or three children and each of them they pay about 250, 300,000 per time. And your salary is about 300,000. That woman, women, I am not saying that you should not respect your husband. You must be humble. You must respect your husband. Husband, show understanding to your wife. Accept your wife. Appreciate her. When a woman is helping you to carry the load in your home, appreciate her. Women, small thing makes them happy. Just appreciate them. Stephanie. <laughs> and, <laughs> and my young lady, don't take your husband for granted because you are a breadwinner. It is not by your power. It is God that just decided to bless the family through you. So don't take it for granted. If you do that, you will see that you will live happily without problem. Am I communicating? Of course. That's it. <laughs> Marriage is not easy. <laughs> but, but it's easy. It's easy. easy no, it's easy if you have understanding. Yes. Understanding is the key to marriage. And every marriage is peculiar. They are not the same. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching us. It's so good to have you guys on my channel receiving my mother for the first time. Thank you so much guys. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section if you want a part two of this video drop it in the comment section too it's me your girl Barry still yes, my baby just give me a second to so to say thank you to all your supporters all right go ahead our supporters our we subscribers you. our fans and we appreciate you the lord will bless all of you good things shall never depart from you thank you for being there for us Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. See you guys in my next video. Ciao! <laughs>